Sports with KATC's Jamarcus Fitzpatrick. The holiday season is when most of us are around our family, opening gifts and looking back on the year. Well, the Raging Cajuns have a ton to be thankful for. From January to December, there were plenty of gifts stuffed under the vermilion and white Christmas tree. Starting with women's hoops, UL finished with a 16-8 record while going 13-1 in conference. The Cajuns' success led to their first Sun Belt title in the Gary Broadhead era. Come away with a, a victory and a, a conference championship for the first time in 50 years. It's big for our, our university and our program. You know, when we took over the program, we believed we could do it. Louisiana also made it to the conference tournament title game and earned a bid in the WNIT as they were led by Sunbelt Defensive Player of the Year, Ty Doucette. <laughs> Men's basketball finished 17-9 and ended the year in the second round of the conference tournament, and star guard Cedric Russell reached the 1,000-point mark as Russell ended the year on the Sunbelt Conference's first team. <laughs> Cajuns baseball saw a 32-23 record in Matt Degg's first full season as head coach. UL made the conference tournament but missed the NCAA regionals for a fourth straight season. Louisiana did, however, see three players get drafted to the major league, including Spencer Arigetti going to the Astros. UL softball's first and final loss of the year came against LSU. In between, those losses spanned a 47-12 record and a Sun Belt championship both in the regular season and postseason. They've been through a long journey. I mean, it's been a hard year with the so many things, the COVID testing, the, you know, bringing in and playing with transfers from all over the country. The Cajuns rallied in three victories in the Baton Rouge Regional, but fell one game short of the Supers. In the summer, Louisiana football prepared for the best season in school history. Billy Napier culminated his tenure in Lafayette with a storybook ending, a 12-1 record, and finally winning the program's first outright Sun Belt title. Today's about our team. It's a significant accomplishment for a lot of people, right? In college football, it, take hun it takes hundreds of people. His star quarterback Levi Lewis became the program's leader in passing touchdowns, but all good things must come to an end as Napier took the head coaching job at Florida. Enter Michael Desimo. Defined as a son of Louisiana, Coach Des became the 27th head coach of the program and led the Cajuns to their 13th straight win in the New Orleans Bowl. I've been around UL a long time. I've been around teams my whole life since I was six. And uh, what, what this group has is special. And that's a look at your sports. Have a Merry Christmas.